Week three, nose work. Here's what we're going to be working on this time. We're gonna be working on corners. Now corners are interesting because they hold odor really well, but most dogs don't like to just go into a corner. We usually have to kind of help them get the confidence to go in. Many dogs when they just learn will hit box one, two, and then kitty corner over to four. So what we're gonna start working on is really starting to get the dogs into the corners. And then for week four, we'll start adding heights with corners. For that one, he is very ready to go. Um, for that one, we're going to make an artificial corner, but I want you guys to keep in mind that this is kind of a more natural corner. The downside is I can't really get in there very easily because of this, but for filming purposes, I just wanted to be able to demonstrate what it might look like in your home. All right, cat touch. These ones are a little close, okay? Find it. So again, he skipped that first box. Yes, good boy. Oh, I, I think he found it. <laughs> but even if he did, I'm still gonna throw him here. Captain, touch. I might even try coming from the other side. This way. And again, in nose work, we're not gonna demand the sit. I'm using this for Captain just because like this is more for us and to keep him calm while I'm talking to you. But in a class, I would actually tell you, don't tell your dog to sit for the most part. Ready, Captain? Find it. He goes right to that corner. Good job. There we go. So he's in this box, food, food, food. Again, you can do this with their breakfast kibble, their dinner. You do have them do three or four searches in the morning and three or four searches at night, your dog is gonna be mentally stimulated and they're gonna get really good at this game really fast. You don't have to do an hour. When we set up these classes, we'll often have three to five dogs in the classroom space. Each one does three searches and then goes and sits down while every other dog does three searches. So Captain just did two. Um, and then once they've all gone, then we either change it up or we don't. Um, and then they do three more searches. For a class, they're usually doing maybe three to four rounds of three searches each, and then they leave and they're pretty tired. Um, they usually fall asleep on the way home, which is awesome. Um, so you don't need to do a whole hour of this. In fact, I would tell you not to. Your dog's nose will blow out and they'll get really tired. They might even just get a little bit sore. We don't want anything to happen. Um, they're just learning now how to use their nose. We're gonna encourage them to drink a lot of water. There's a water bowl right here. The one thing Captain is not great at though are these threshold finds. Sit, wait. And again, in a normal class, I would not ask my dog to sit or wait, um, but my assistant is awesome and he's filming right now. So I can't have him put the camera down and set this up for me. So Captain actually has to demonstrate a little bit more uh, impulse control and training and manners training than he would in a typical nose work class. So this is really unusual. So I'm just gonna do a little musical chairs here with some of these boxes. I'm gonna send them in on this side. Yeah. Because what I really wanna work on is that threshold. Remember last week we were talking about threshold signs. That's the first box that they see. Um, and he has a habit of missing it. Captain, find it. Oh, there we go, good job. And you can see how he started to walk by and he turned around. It wasn't the best example of one, but it's called a J-turn. So where they walk and then they come back, they almost U-turn back on themselves. Like they catch the odor over here and follow it back. You get that if there's like a wind source behind you, like a little fan blowing the odor that way. So they catch it and circle back. Or as they're just so excited and they're running <laughs> and they're like, oh wait, it was back there. Um, so for Captain, I like to practice these threshold signs. Good boy, touch, sit, wait. Ready, we're gonna go, oh, oh, we're gonna go this way. Touch, sit. He's like, this isn't a blind search. I know exactly where it is, find it. <laughs> so again, level one nose work. It's more important to me that they get this kind of confidence that they just pull and pull and pull. If you put it in the same spot five or six times, perfect. We're not trying to stump them. We want them to know and trust their nose and be so stupid confident about it 
So when we do make it harder, they can tolerate that little bit of stress and frustration. And that's what's gonna make you uh, get a confident, great searching dog that can search for minutes at a time for something that's small or working in an unusual circumstance or in, an, in a setting that's outside. So make it really easy, make the game really pay off for them now and it's gonna pay off for you later. Next week, we're gonna do height and corners together. And then we're gonna do things that are not um, necessarily um, boxes. So like other containers, other things like that. And then that should be the end of our nose art class.